cross shield grab. Because the thing about that kind of play style is it's, it's you can train against that play style now with the B20XX computers. We're just doing technical stuff for nothing. That's basically what Ozzy feels like sometimes. What are we talking about? He's oh, bad trade. Oh Ooh, man, he just tipper. actually kind of rare to see from Dimension missing his tipper. <laughs> He's been tippering people all day. Dimension. He's got his jump. Yep. Dimension's really nervous up B. Oh, he's Ooh. living, though. Dimension's just got this, like, tiny Rick feeling to him, man. Like, it's something not normal about him. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> he's tiny Rick, man. Body, body. Real body is slowly decaying in the garage. No. Tipper boys. He's going to get him again. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's way too Almost bit. got him. Wave shine up smash. All right. So, uh, I don't know why, but I feel like Tim's really motivated TRL this tournament. Called him free RL, you know. And he's just out to do really well. To right now, he's trying to take out Tim's son for the future. And I feel like this is his secret mission. Like this is why he was sent here. I feel like once TRL realizes what uh, Dimension's grab patterns are, that's the set. Ooh, this might be the set already. Talk about the young shorten to get to ledge. He's just like, I'm still gonna keep this edge guard up after this super deep shine spike. You're not safe. Good tipper. All right. Brawl. Yep, there it is That's again. Dead. All right, still down a whole stock, but Marth can, can bring this back. He's not jump canceling his grabs. Ooh, calls out a raw grab with a full hop drill. Now he's messing up on some wave dashes. Very uh, simplistic. Oh, wow, that unfortunate. He's overwhelming him. He, he's TRL is really picking his spots well. You know, he's not rushing in when he when he shouldn't. He's, he's catching dimension on the rare occasion that he dashes forward, and he's really making play for it. True. Oh, what trying to shoot. Something I noticed just in like my one match with this uh, this fox is that he really seems to enjoy overwhelming Marth and just making it so Marth can't do anything. Um, so I don't think you have to worry about him. Like you don't have to be. Worry, you don't have to worry about like you don't have to wait basically. Like you you don't have to worry about him like doing the D Lou. You know? No offense to D Lou, but we know you're gonna run away and shoot lasers. Like everybody knows it. You're gonna do it against everybody. Even if like if Sonic was in this game, you would try to run away laser Sonic. This is what you do. We all know it's coming. Whereas this guy's the exact opposite. Like the, like a couple seconds he's gonna be right there. Like he's gonna attack you, you know it's coming. He's uh, almost Im has an impatient aggression. Like, he's like, I can't wait. I got to go kick him. Yeah, it's interesting you say that because he's actually, you know, the way he picks his spots is he, he knows Marth as a character well. Yeah, I've noticed that. So he doesn't approach when he doesn't have to. And as soon as he sees a certain dash movement from Dimension, he's in there. True. Because, like, Marth has various openings that don't necessarily look like openings. You know what I mean? No, I don't play this character that oh, Okay, often. well, like, every time, basically every time he swings his sword and misses, it's an opening if you're quick enough. But only certain people are quick enough to get it. See, like that. Swung his sword, missed, there was an opening. So, yeah, what's really interesting is that TRL is actually keeping himself in a space that he can do that, where he yeah. has the openings. He's, he's just always, always outside of uh, Dimension's range. He's tantalizingly close. Because exactly. Dimension is not someone that approaches Fox often. So to see... TRL catch him coming in, you know that his bait game is on point. Yeah, exactly. He, he knows the spacing for Marth so, so well. And what a Marth is going to want to do when from what position. I love the bailout on that uh, full hop. Ooh. That was one of the first, like, kind of dash dance grabs we've seen uh, Dimension get. And even, like, wow, what is he doing? Even on Dimension's shield, TRL spacing himself pretty well. You're falling up there. Oh. Platforms. Getting involved. Yeah. Oh, he just barely missed. We tipper. all knew he was going for that tipper. Oh, oh my he God. gets it with the Tim Davis the net, special. The net play, yo. Actually, no, that was the Tim Davis because that was out of run and he just crouched. Yeah. Two shines. That's it. Two shines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> TRL needs to take this game if he wants to 2-0 dimension and... Just hurry on through to losers finals. Yeah, right. So far, uh, Dimension's undefeated in game three, I think. 
Did he lose two Owen winners? I couldn't tell you. All I know is CRL is going to work. Yo, what's good, dude? The charge dump smash? I don't know what that was about. A lot of full hop drill working out for him, man. Just catching him in these weird positions. And you know TRL is going to keep this stage position. Crazy spot dodge. Not getting grabbed. Here it comes. All right, back here. No up tilt. Doesn't match it out. All right, just forward smash the rolling. All right. All right. What? Ooh. The sweeping forward smash. TRL with the quick head shake. Really? Okay. I was about to say, is he going to down throw again? I actually thought he was. I did too. See, TRO is really, he's keeping in his own space well. I mean, he's just moving it around. You know, he's not, not. Oh, super man, he got grabbed. Approaching counter. counter. Fair. Up. Oh, my God. Uh, he really didn't need to do that. He could have fared and then like reverse up B and 